I'm so sad. And I don't like to be sad. And I don't like to waste time. Let's talk about what went wrong. You know, without activation, you can't change your desktop wallpaper. You can't come in and customize your taskbar. You can't access any of this stuff here. You'll not be able to change to the dark theme, which is extremely important to me. Some of the other new features through Windows Update, you won't get. So you definitely do want to activate. Today's content is brought to you by BobKeys.com. This is where I buy my Windows 10 keys, and every now and then I'll snag a game or something, but I just bought my seventh Windows 10 key here for Windows 10 Professional. You're going to get 25% off the prices you see here using coupon code TS25. So this is Windows 10 Pro, 25% off that. You want Windows 10 Home? Also, if you want to get a bundle with Microsoft Office and Windows 10, you can get that. That. got all kinds of things you know 2019 just lots and lots of things oh this is a double two pc after you purchase your key you just click up here click on user center you click on my purchased orders just click on view keys and codes then in the middle of the page you'll see your product key just highlight that you're going to want to copy this then press the start button on your computer and then type activate. You'll see activation settings. Just go ahead and click on that and change product key. Paste it here, then click next and you will be activated. So again, thanks to bobkeys.com, TS25, head over there. The links are all on the top of the description. So I got the uh, Severant Rocket 4 Plus, and this is a huge four terabyte M.2 NVMe drive. It's NVMe 1.3 compliant. It's Fizen controller, and on paper, this thing is a monster. And a lot of the other reviews I've been seeing online say that this is the single fastest four terabyte uh, SSD and possibly the fastest SSD that anyone's ever seen. They're advertising 7100 on the read and 6600 on the right. And let me just go through the specs really quickly. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that I got a bad one. And I know there's good ones out there, but I got a bad one. And we'll talk about what happened, how it worked, but I was able to get my tests done for the speed after a lot of blue screens and a lot of weirdness and having to go into disk part and mess with things. But we'll go through that story after this is over. I think that um, I just got a bad one. I think there's probably, uh, if I send it back and get a new one, that it'll be fine. But this is my experience and it's been pretty frustrating. So let's talk about it. First, we'll finish up on all these specs here. So of course it supports smart and trim and an on five up to 4.0 got error correction over provisioning uh advanced wear leveling and uh, bad block management so there's a lot of that stuff built in, into it a lot a lot of that's part of the hardware and this is qlc they've packed a lot onto this some fancy nand right here it gets pretty warm it comes with a little copper i guess a copper plate on top and you'll notice that i scratched that before like an idiot i Decided to do all the tests before I shot the video shots of it. So there's a little scratch on the outer covering because when I tried to put it into a USB 3 <laughs> enclosure, whoops. This uses Fizen's E18 uh, controller. Let's get into the, um, the tests and stuff so you can see how fast it is. Now for this video, what I wanted to do was take my, I've got another uh, Gen 3x4 um, Savarant, what is it, just a Savarant rocket. And that's a four terabyte drive that I use for my game. But I was like, you know what? This looks like it has like double the performance. So I could just swap it over to this one and open up my game faster. Because when you're using Unreal Engine, there's, if you have a lot of assets in a big world, a faster SSD is going to help you move between levels, open up stuff. It's going to help for, you know, assets to stream. And especially that's more of a thing with Unreal Engine 5. But just right now, it's going to help open things up quicker. Um, some things are, are going to compile faster, even though that's mainly CPU and GPU bound. Faster hard drive is going to help. So I was like, this will be great. I'll just swap them out. And I'm still stuck using the 3,500 megabytes a second <laughs> on the other drive, but you know. So let's go ahead and go through the benchmarks with this drive, the, the 4 Plus, compared to my uh, Severant Rocket 4. All right, so taking a look at Addo, that super fast compressed data, just to give you an idea of how fast this is going to be on the reads and writes. Now on the left, we have the Severant Rocket 4 terabyte, and you can see there it tops out right around three gigabytes a second. Doesn't really get higher than 2.89 than I can see. Um, pretty good performance there. And just this is all on a PCI Express 4 motherboard and I'm using the same slot uh, to swap these in and out to test them out. On the right, we have the Rocket 4 Plus. They're both named the same thing. Don't, don't mind that because, you know. And as we can see here, um, it didn't quite get over seven gigabytes a second, but 6.97 is pretty damn fast. It's the fastest I've ever seen. And one thing I want to mention, and I, I, I did this seriously accidentally, I had to run two tests of Addo. 
The first test, the drive got really fast, and toward the end, it slowed down to like a thousand megabytes a second. And I accidentally dragged and dropped the other um, test that I did into the same folder, and it said same auto test, whatever, like the, the JPEG name. It was like, file already exists, and I clicked yes, and I was like, oh no, I wanted to show that one time I did the test, but after that it was okay. I did a few more tests and they all came out the same, but one time I did the test, it got really hot and just kind of tapered off at the end. And that was kind of weird. I noticed some strange performance like that here and there. But anyway, back to the, that, that just one observation, but we'll get to the other things in just a second. Let's get back to this. And we can see here with Crystal Disk Mark, it, it pretty much doubles the performance on the read. And this one does get very close, actually above the 7100, but it gets almost to 7200 right there on the on the sequentials. That's really freaking fast. Uh, the randoms, uh, pretty good. I mean, I would expect them to be a little bit better, but they are better than the the four. But you know, just when you see the sequentials, I would almost expect the the randoms to have just as much of a boost. And 200 to 300 is a pretty good, you know, like a 30% boost right there. But uh, here, it's all right. It's, it's still freaking fast. All right, ASSSD. And again, very similar results with all the tests. And here, the uh, read and write on the 4Ks. I wish that was a little higher, but you know, it's still ridiculously fast, especially when the, the sequentials. All right, now we're gonna look at the IOPS. And here we see a huge uh, boost in overall IOPS, just <laughs> 712,000. Good God, it's ridiculous. But now we need to take a look at the temps. Now here's a little area that um, isn't quite as much fun. Check out the temps here. So yeah, it performs really, really well. But um, yeah, it's, it's like 20 degrees hotter, like a lot hotter. Now this is operating within spec, but you know, I don't like, I don't like that big red thing that says bad. I also did another uh, test with uh, the temps. This drive is scary fast, but it also gets really warm. Now, let's talk about the saga that I went through. I did all the tests first, but even the first time I put it into the computer, and you know, you, you put it in your computer and you go into manage and you format it just so you can like start to use it and do some tests and stuff like that. I didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to do the test first. But the first time I did this, it was really weird, like all the partitions appeared on the drive and then I would start doing some stuff and my system would blue screen. I'd be like, okay, that's weird. And I would reboot and there would be like no partitions on the hard drive. It would show up, but there was like no partitions on the on the drive. So I, I used disk part because I couldn't go into, you know, the Windows manage tool. I used that, no luck. Just, I would try to click on it, try to do stuff. Could not format it, could not do anything. So I had to go into disk part, clean it, uh, repair the drive and disk part. And, and this was weird because I would go into disk part. It was just a command prompt thing, you know, elevated command prompt. And I would tell it to like, you know, try to try to get it to format as NTFS or whatever. When I looked up anything, there was like nothing on the drive. And then I would have to wait like 15, 20 minutes. And then there'd be a little window where all of a sudden the drive would appear and I'd be like, oh, the drive is here. And I would go and partition it and it would, and then it would work. But it was like, nothing would show up for a while and then finally it would. So I was like, that's a little weird, but so I wanted to give it a fair shake. So I put it in a different um, slot. I moved from a, a four, uh, PCI Express four slot to a PCI Express, I believe it was another four, four speed slot, but just a different slot in the motherboard. I don't think it had as many lanes going to it, but same thing, my computer would blue screen frequently. And I was like, this is really weird. So I was like, I'm gonna go to another computer and mess with this. And at this point, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and start trying to clone my other drive onto this drive so I can swap it out and just see if it works. So I put it into a USB Type-C 3 enclosure that I use for another M.2 that works perfectly. Like, I know the enclosure works because I've been using it with an OCZ drive. It's not that fast of a drive. You know, it's like 2,000, 2,500 on the read, right? Somewhere in that range, but it works. And I put it in that enclosure and I was like, all right, let's do a clone try to Cronus because you know you can get a Cronus which is great you get a Cronus when you when you buy one of these uh, I tried to use a Cronus clone did not work it, it crashed halfway through and then I was like oh no ended up back in the same position where now I'm going back into disk part to try to 
recover some of this data uh, and 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 get this working. So that didn't work. And I was like, you know what? Let's try Macrium Reflect. I tried Macrium Reflect and it worked the first time. So I was like, you know, I'm going to clone it again because it got really hot. I was noticing it was getting really hot again. I was like, let's just, I want this drive to work. I've got to be doing heavy duty stuff. Tried it again. The second clone failed with Macrium Reflect. Reflect. <laughs> the second clone failed with Macrium Reflect. And then I did it a third time and it worked. So I decided to try testing the Unreal Engine after that. And mind you, this is extremely frustrating because I've gone between two different computers messing with this drive. And I bring it back to the computer I'm sitting at right now, the, my 5950X uh, machine that I use to, to do stuff in the Unreal Engine. And I was like, all right, let's put it in here and maybe it'll work now that the clone worked. I don't know, wishful thinking, maybe it'll just magically work. So I put it in here and a lot of the tests I did that you saw the temperatures uh, they were the, the the last temperature that you saw right here this 74 degrees is actually uh, with the motherboard it's got like a plate on top of it or whatever like a shield and that has a little bit of a heat dissipating like pad or whatever so that's maybe why it got a degree cooler i even you know i even went so far as to get a usb gen 3 by 4 sort of a like a pci express um, card and I popped that in there and it worked the best with that one, but it was limiting my speeds to PCI Express Gen 3 by 4 Can't have that right, but that did work better. I didn't have any crashes Which is kind of weird, but I couldn't get I mean it was not worth doing the test in Unreal Engine because it was going to be basically the same speed as the as the 4 plus So why am I even wasting all my money and time? so anyway um, I finally ended up getting uh, this to work in the machine and I would what I was trying to do is just open up Unreal Engine and just delete all my cache and then time how long it took to rebuild all the cache because it's writing stuff to the hard drive. And it would get, you know, I, the first three or four times that I opened Unreal Engine, blue screen. And then like the fifth time, it finally opened Unreal Engine. I was like, yes, we're in. And I moved my mouse, moved things around. 10 seconds later, blue screen. My computer rebooted and it's did that scary thing where like the screen is rebooting and on the bottom it says windows is starting or something it says windows is doing something i forget what it says but it's like you know like initializing windows and then it booted up to a uh, a desktop that was completely corrupt it was just a windows blue background no programs installed it was really kind of freaky luckily i created a restore point because i have a policy of not doing any kind of testing on my on a you know machine that I need to work, but I kind of wanted to use this drive in my machine that I needed to work. So I went against my rule and really fucked up. So yeah, this took my computer out of commission for a day or so. So after all this is said and done, this drive is extremely fast and I'm seeing good reviews online and I'm seeing good reviews from other media, but I've obviously got a bad unit. Like this thing is not, is not okay. It's maybe just getting too hot even it needs it's got it just thinks should just come with a heat spreader but a lot of the motherboards these days have the plates so you'd have to remove the heat spreader anyway i understand that you you can get one separately but i would highly recommend using a heat spreader with this um but for me right now i need to get another one of these and test it and see if it's going to be stable and again i tested it with usb3 i tested it with a pci express bracket in three by four i tested it in two different motherboards and multiple slots, which the motherboard I have is the, uh, the that I'm using right here is the ASRock, um, it's the X570 Phantom X. And the problem with that one is in order to take out the M.2, you have to remove the plate that goes over top of the motherboard all, and it goes over top of all your PCI Express slots. Which means every time I wanted to you know, swap this stuff around and test new things, I had to remove the graphics card. I had to remove my other PCI Express stuff. I had to remove my sound card because I've got a sound blaster in here for old school games and stuff. So I'd have to remove all that stuff, unplug everything from the back, pull the plate back off. It was, I did that, I did that like five times and I was like, no, we're done. We're done. So anyway, I still use Aberrant. I've got the Rocket 4 in this drive, the one terabyte as my C drive. Perfect. Uh, I've got the Rocket 4 Plus, four terabyte drive in here. They're perfect. So I've obviously got a bad one here and I'm sad and I wasted my time. And uh, I thought about just sending this back and like 
getting back to my life, but it's not fair to not tell you that I had a bad experience. So I decided to make the video anyway and talk about it. Anyway, uh, questions in the uh, comments below. Maybe I'll hop in there and take a look at them. Sorry, Sabrent. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This one's bad. If, you, if you're out there looking for a drive, the, the Gen 3x4 uh, Sabrent Rocket Plus is amazing. I love it. Just wish I could use this much speed. It is what it is. I'll see you in the comments. Oh, also, while you're online, why don't you head over to EpicPants.com if you're cool enough for some of this. This is the standard issue mouse right here. And this is an old ex-Soviet Russian lens. All right, that's enough of that. I don't know why I'm doing this. Bye, everybody.